Hi students, Assalamu alaikum, welcome to English class. Before we start our today's um, uh, topic, which is the continuation of our yesterday's topic, uh, let me quickly recap what we did yesterday. Uh, we started the text, the race, uh, which comes out from the autobiography of the writer uh, and journalist Clive James. And everything um, in the race is told in the first person since it is the autobiography uh, by Clive James. So the first paragraph, it, it talks about author's inability to uh, design a sophisticated billy cart. And then he talks about his first design billy cart, which was made out of fruit box with the help of fence panels. And he used rubber tires of an old pram for wheels. And he calls uh, them drearily silent, the wheels, uh, as they didn't make any noise uh, as com compared to the ball race wheels. And he loved the noise of the ball race wheels. Okay, so he didn't like his own billy cart. Since billy carts disturbed the neighborhood, uh, people were annoyed of them as well as the kids. So they used to sprinkle water on um, grim uh, faced riders when they passed by. So people didn't like, okay, didn't like the billy carts. Then, uh, next paragraph, we have. A description of Sunbeam Avenue, Margaret Street, and Irene Street. These are the different streets which are mentioned. Okay, and here the the writer tells to enter Irene Street, Billy Carts had to take a right turn, which resulted in skidding away and uh, overturning Billy Carts, which was very sharp turn, and it was not an easy task for uh, uh, for the children to drive their Billy Carts safely over there. Okay, but Jim uh, James Clive had the advantage of the rubber wheels uh, to take uh, that turn without losing his control. And this trick saved him from being embarrassed. Um, here, embarrassed spelling, double S. Okay, please, uh, you can add up here. Embarrassed spelling is double S. Okay, so uh, this trick saved him from being embarrassed or relegated to the ranks of the little kids as he never wanted to be thought of uh, a little kid. He always considered himself as a big boy or a big kid. So uh, he was quite happy that he could make that uh, uh, turn very safely. Then, third paragraph, it describes the Irene Street, and uh, here we have the description of Mrs. Branthwaite. So, Irene Street was doubly perilous. First, it had that uh, right angle turn, okay, and then, secondly, there was the house of Mrs. Branthwaite. Uh, and Mrs. Branthwaite, she had uh, grown poppies, a name of the flowers. I showed the pictures as well, okay. Now, she was known as a witch, and she was not liked by the children. Uh, and she was believed. Uh, uh, she was believed to kill uh, the cats. Also, it was also mentioned over there. She was a renowned gardener, and she loved growing flower beds. And she would call the police even if somebody would pluck one of the flowers grown by her illegally. Okay, if somebody would pluck the flowers without her um, notice or without her permission, she would immediately call the police. So, so she was very famous for all these things. So this was all about what we did yesterday. Today we are going to start um, uh, reading of uh, para 4 to 7. Again, I'm not going to read out for you. You people are going to read the paragraphs yourself. Here I have um, highlighted uh, the difficult words, okay, and I've given the meanings as well so that when you read uh, the lesson yourself, you are able to understand. Here are the pictures which will help you to understand the lesson, okay. Uh, this picture shows th these are the pictures of um, poppies or the flower beds, how she grew them. And uh, this picture of the girl over here, if I can highlight it, okay. See, this picture shows awe. This picture shows surprise when you are surprised by something. And this picture will also help you uh, when. Um, uh, the train made by uh, the author, uh, by the author Clive James, when it was uh, destroyed. So what happened, and how did it look? Okay, so th this picture will help you afterwards. Now here I have the explanation of the text. Hopefully this explanation will help you a lot. Okay. Now, when you read the fourth paragraph, you will find that the real action took place. The real action took place when Mrs. Branford's poppies were in. A full bloom. Now, actually, the um, story begins over here from a fourth paragraph. Now, what happens over here? Nobody ever dared to take the turn, but James Clive, out of his ambitious nature, did it. Now, when 
Mrs. Uh, Branfit's poppies were in full bloom. No uh, billy cart rider has ever dared to take that turn, that right angle turn into Irene Street. But who did uh, dare to take that turn? James Clive. Why? Out of his ambitious nature. When he wanted to do something, he would do it. So, since he was bored, or uh, he was bored of uh, the noise of the howling carts, he was fed up of watching all that um, action. So, he wanted something different as he was sick of listening to the howling of ball race carts. So, he wanted to do something different. Now, we'll see what different thing did he do. Yes, what he did, he made the train of all the carts. He joined all the carts which were alike, like with the carts which were slow, uh, like his own cart. He joined them. The front axle of the cart was detached and all the carts were attached like a train. Okay. Here he took all the carts which were similar to his own carts. Now the author was alone in his cart and but rest of the uh, carts had three to four kids. Now the carts were, which were attached to his own cart. They had three to four kids and the box cart was full of small kids with their soft toy. And the last cart which was in the end of the uh, cart, which was in the end, okay, it was full of the uh, small kids who had, they were so small that they, they had their soft toys. Uh, also, you'll, uh, you'll see in the paragraph uh, how they are mentioned. Okay, So, they were sitting in that uh, last cart. Now, now, ball race riders added up into the train. Even when the ball race riders, they saw this train of the cart, they also wanted to be added up. So, uh, they were also attached. Their carts were also ball race riders' carts were also attached and it heightened the tone and uh, it added up to the passengers list. Swelling, okay, swelling means uh, uh, adding up, adding up to the passengers list. So now this train was um, more lengthy. Now there were uh, many people in it and the number of carts were also added up. Now the super cart, now he calls it the train of the uh, belly carts. He, call it, he calls it the super cart. It was a triumph, triumphing. It was a kind of victory. As people who had been hosing all the kids now, the people who had been uh, teasing them by throwing or sprinkling water at them, they even called their families to witness that marvel. Marvel means something which is surprising, uh, which was uh, out of this world. So, the people who used to um, tease them or who didn't like their cards, even they called out their families to see what was happening. So, this is all about uh, paragraph 4 and 5. Uh, these points are explained in paragraph 4 and 5. Now, here I have the explanation of text 6 and 7. Now, with so much inertia, the supercart started slowly but accelerated like a piano falling out of window. Now, this describes the loud noise. With so much inertia, inertia actually is slow motion. Since um, uh, his cart, okay, whose cart? Uh, Clive James' cart uh, was very slow and it was heavy. With so much inertia, the super cart started slowly but accelerated. But now see, so many carts were attached to it. It started slowly but then it moved on very fast and it made a loud noise like a piano falling out of the window with a loud noise. Now there was a lot of noise uh, in neighborhood. Okay. Now Irene's uh, street turned was miscalculated by James. Now over here in this paragraph, he describes that um, while designing all this or while planning for all this um, activity, he miscalculated something and that was the Irene Street turn. He miscalculated. He skidded his cart safely, but he couldn't control the tail attached to his cart. Now the tail, what is the tail? The tail refers to the other carts were, which were attached to his own billy cart. Now, he, he skidded his cart. He, he moved his cart quite safely, but now he forgot that his cart was not alone. There were so many other carts attached to his own cart. 
so he miscalculated all this and he describes it as a monster with enormous tail he describes his card as a monster with enormous tail and that uh, tail he couldn't control and since things were not in his control he skidded his card but he couldn't control the rest of the cards now what happened now those cards they hit the, uh, the poppies they hit the flower beds and what what was there in the air the air was full of flying ball bearings bits of wood big kids little kids koalas and dummies everything was flying in the air so you can see the activity you can see the disaster so he miscalculated all this and further not only ball bearings bits of wood big kids little kids koalas and dummies what else was there the air was full of poppy petals not a bloom escaped the scythe scythe is actually a cutting tool now scythe it refers to the cards which had uh, ruined and destroyed every single poppy petal children all wounded escaped the scene now the children who were wounded in that disastrous act they they just tried to escape mrs brantfield was in complete awe i mean in complete surprise she couldn't believe her eyes what had happened she could walk all right but couldn't talk he describes the expression of mrs brantfield she stared straight ahead with slightly open mouth her mouth was open when the ambulance came to take her she could walk but she couldn't believe what had actually happened over there so this was all about the autobiography uh, text which was taken from the autobiography of clive james the race so this was all about the race hopefully you would have understood the lesson and hopefully uh, you would you would be able to answer the question based on it read it uh, twice or thrice again and again until uh, or unless you understand the text properly take help of the explanation also thank you so much for listening